this video, we will be solving formality, boiling point elevation, and Hess's Law's common problems. And don't forget to leave a thumbs up reaction watching this video. So first one is we have the molality. It is the ratio of the moles of the solute to the kilograms of solvent. So to find the molality, we have this formula, moles of solute over the kilogram of solvent, and the unit used for the molality is mole per kilogram. So let's try to solve this given example in here. And it says 8.2 moles of ethyl glycol or C2H6O2 and 7,273 grams of water. What is the molality? So first, let's determine where is our solute and our solvent. So since we have 8.2 moles solute, this is our solute, and our solvent is our the 7,273 grams of water. Notice that our solvent is in grams form. So first is we have to convert it into kilogram. So it will be... 7 to 73 grams and we convert it into kilogram it will be 7.273 kilogram now that we have our kilogram and we have our moles of solute let's solve for the molality molality is equals to the moles of solute to over the kilogram of solvent so we have 8.2 moles over 7.273 kilogram and the final answer will be 1.1 moles so let's head to the boiling point elevation so it is considered as colligative property so for finding the boiling point elevation we have this formula delta t is equals to kb times m times i wherein the delta t is the change in boiling point temperature the kb is our boiling point constant of water which is 0 0.51 degrees celsius per mole molal the M is the molality of solution, that is the mole per kilogram, and the I is the Van Hoff factor. So this I or Van Hoff factor, it represents how many particles the solute breaks up into the solvent. So for all non-electrolytes or weak electrolytes, I is equals to 1. Let's, let's try to answer what is asked in here. What is the boiling point elevation when 9.2 gram of NH3 or ammonia is dissolved in 150 gram of water. So the formula for the boiling point is delta T, delta T, or the boiling point is equals to KB times M times I. So formula for molality is moles over the mass of solvent. Now. The Kb, our Kb is equals to 0 0.51 degrees Celsius per molal. So let's try to find the molality. So we have here 9.2 gram of NH3, that is our solute, and our solvent is the 150 gram of water. So since both of our solute and solvent are in grams form, so Let's convert our solute from grams to moles and our solvent from grams to kilogram. So to find the moles is we have to get the molar mass of the ammonia or NH3 which is 17 grams per mole. Now that we have the molar mass, let's divide the 9.2 gram by 17 gram per mole now that's a lot of grams 9.2 divided by 17 is equals to 0 0.54 moles that is our moles now let's 
convert our solvent so 150 gram and if we convert it into kilogram we'll get 0 0.150 kilogram now that we both have our moles of solute and kilograms of solvent let's solve for the molality so molality is equals to 0 0.54 moles over one, 0 0.150 kilogram so that gives us 3.6 molar 3.6 molar now our molality is at 3.6 molar since NH3 or ammonia is a weak electrolyte so our I is equals to 1 so our boiling point elevation or delta T is equals to 0 0.51 degrees Celsius per mole times 3.6 mole times 1 so cancel out the moles and 0 0.51 times 3.6 times 1 and that gives us 1.8 degrees Celsius the boiling point is equals to 100 degrees Celsius so 100 degrees Celsius plus 1.8 degrees Celsius is equals to 101.8 degrees Celsius and that is our new boiling point and lastly the has a slow so we have this calculate the enthalpy for C2H4 plus H2 forming the C2H6 so we need to manipulate these three equations below to get this top reaction so first is we're going to see if the say to H4 is on the left side on the given. So since we see on the given that C2 H4 is on the left side or on the reactant side as we needed. So we're just going to leave it as it is. Now let's see the second reactant which is the H2. So the H2 is on the reactant side. Well, on the given, it is also in the reactant side, so let's just ignore it. Now, we have this C2H6 on the product side, and I see that C2H6 on the given is on the left side or on the reactant side, so we need the C2H6 on the given to be on the product side. So we're going to flip the second equation. So it will give us 2CO2 plus 3H2O yields C2H6 plus 7 times O2. And since we flip the equation, we are going to flip its enthalpy of reaction as well so since we have negative 1560 kilojoules per mole we're going to have positive positive 1560 kilojoules per mole remember that if you flip an equation you will flip its enthalpy of reaction as well so now we're going to add all like terms on the right side and all like terms on the left side so it will become c2 edge 4 plus 3 o2 plus 1 half o2 will become 7 half o2 plus 2 c o2 plus 3H2O plus H2 forming 2CO2 plus 2H2O plus 1H2O will become 3H2O plus C2H6 plus 7 half 
O2. Now I see 7 halves O2 on the left side and I see 7 halves O2 on the right side. So we'll cut this out. We also have to see O2 both sides. So we'll cancel that and the 3 H2O. And what's left is the C2 H4 plus H2 forming the C2 H6. Now, what we're going to do to the enthalpy of reaction or the delta A, we're going to add this enthalpy of reaction. So we'll give it H, delta H reaction equals to the first enthalpy of enthalpy change which is the negative for 1411 kilojoules per mole plus the this will become positive since we flip it so it will become 1560 kilojoules per mole plus negative 285.8 kilojoules per mole and we'll get negative 136.8 kilojoules per mole and that's the final answer now you know how to solve for the molality boiling point elevation and has a slow Thank you.